Okay, time for a Latitudes and Attitudes look at a new cruising boat. Hi, John Kretschmer here for Latitudes and Attitudes TV. I'm aboard the new Hunter 38, the Glenn Henderson design, and we're going to take this boat and put her through her paces today for a Lats and Ads sea trial. I'm excited about it. It's an interesting new boat. It's got, uh, it's got all the features Hunter's known for. It's comfortable. It's certainly going to be easy to handle. But what I like about it is just the feel that you get, the new commitment to quality from Hunter. The boat is loaded with top-notch gear and equipment. The double stainless bow roller is another example of Hunter's commitment to quality. That's an impressive piece of hardware. The chain locker is right here. It's deep, puts the weight down where you want it, and this windlass with up and down controls is a great feature as well. The BNR rig is a Hunter trademark. It simplifies the sail plan, frees up space in the cockpit by removing the backstay, and makes handling the mainsail real easy. This is a boat you can single hand. The stainless steel cockpit arch is a feature sailors have come to expect from Hunter. And it serves a lot of purposes. It not only gets the traveler and the main sheet out of the cockpit, freeing up space, but it also helps in sail handling. From the helm, the traveler controls are easily within reach, both port and starboard, and you have perfect visibility as well. A terrific feature for making the boat easy to handle is that all the sail controls are led aft here to the cockpit. Through these series of rope clutches and these two inches, you can handle anything on the boat. Raising the sail is simply a matter of working from right here. Not only is the deck clean, but the 38's designed for low maintenance. No teak on deck. You've got stainless steel handrails here and a molded tow rail. There is some teak in the cockpit, or is there? Not really. This is Flexi-Teak. It's a synthetic product. It looks good, but requires no maintenance. The 38 has an ingenious interior plan. It really utilizes the available space brilliantly. You have two double cabins, one forward, one aft, a real bright and airy main saloon, dedicated nav station, which I still like in a boat, a single head amidships with a separate shower, and arguably the best galley arrangement I've seen in a 38-foot boat. The forward cabin includes a good-sized double, two hanging lockers, shelf space for books, and, like the rest of the boat, good light and good ventilation. As you work your way aft, you come into the main saloon. Here's the compression post for the mast. Deck step mast, no leaks, I like that. The main saloon is really comfortable. From the designer fabric to the preformed cushions, this is really a great spot on this boat. I think I wouldn't mind sitting down to a nice meal right here. It's easy to overlook the importance of a good head on a boat. What Henderson has done here is put the head amidships. He hasn't crammed two heads into the boat, which is the right way to do it. Instead, you have the vanity area here, perfect for getting cleaned up, the head and the shower here, completely isolated. When you want to take a shower, the seat goes down, and you draw your curtain. The aft cabin features a large athwartship double. I like having the bunk run athwartships. It literally gives you a heads up position on either tack. And of course it's terrific when you're at anchor. Good ventilation, good light, very nice atmosphere in this cabin. There are also hanging lockers on either side. Both of those are cedar lined. And these two little dressing seats are a great feature. I like the overall profile of these new Glenn Henderson design hunters. This 38 is a beautiful example. The boat is really handsome. It's got a terrific linear flow to it. I like the commitment Hunter's made to the aft cockpit. The overall cabin trunk has a lower profile. It's a very handsome boat. Sure, it's still very comfortable below, but the boat's designed to sail. You gotta be careful you don't get whiplashes. It comes out so fast. Wow. She's easily driven. The boat goes very nicely. You can see right now we're just getting a light puff. She just, just digs in, sails nicely. There's absolutely no helm. Very balanced. I'm really impressed with the Hunter 38. She combines a lot of features in a real sweet sailing boat. She's nimble. You know, being able to sail in tight quarters like this, she comes through the wind right now. You tack, you gain weight. It's a beautiful thing. The boat's comfortable. The boat's really good looking. It's a terrific value. Hunters really hit the mark with this boat. Terrific boat.